Thank you very much for the time. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. And I hope you are too. I'm doing fine. Mm. I love okay. So, I, I have... And under the circumstance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we thank God. <laughs> you know, I, I hosted Alaji and Alaji um, earlier. So when I came here, I think about 2013, I started hosting Alaji, hosting Alaji as backup to Suhini. So Mr. Kojochi Mbuafo's mm -hmm. record in terms of how he spoke against even the choice of Nene Kufuado is well known at the time, up to this point, uh, where Dr. Baumia is the new Jesus. Um, ha have you had opportunity of reading the thoughts of um, Kofi Bento on why he's decided to go with Dr. Baumia? Yes, I've read it, but let me just offer a point of correction. Kofi Bentil has not decided to go with Dr. Baumia. He has always been with Dr. Baumia. Okay. They were part of the Dr. Baumia Adulation Fan Club when he was running around uh, every town hall in Accra talking all the nonsense and all the rubbish he was talking. Nonsense and rubbish he couldn't uh, actualize when he became vice president and chairman of the economic management team. So, Let's get it clear. Let's be very clear. What Kofi Bentel is offering is an excuse, right, for for the disgrace for the disgraceful uh, performance of uh, Dr. Baumia in 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 in, uh, in, um, in in government. But but let's 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 understand something about Baumia. Dr. Baumia doesn't believe in anything. I mean, at one point in time, he was called Timothy. Right at another point in time, Dr. Baumia was a British citizen. At one point in time, Dr. Baumia was a boys' brigade. I mean, through all the changing scenes of Baumia, he is anything and everything that suits the occasion. He doesn't believe in anything. So let's get that clear. And he has lackeys and uh, uh, what do you call it? echo bunnies like uh, um, Kofi Bento talking nonsense at this time. Listen, those people should just shut up. Okay, Ghanaians are going to go to the polls in December. When we go, we are going to make a resounding affirmation of the mistake that was made in 2016. A mistake that was due to tribalism, elitism, uh, um, uh, religious, uh, 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 what do you call it, pontification, and all the things that gathered together. That perfect storm that occurred that made President Mahama lose election in 2016. That uh, uh, mistake of history is going to be corrected. So people like Kofi Bento should stop wasting everybody's time. What we rather are going to do is that Dr. Baumia and his gang of criminals and thieves and highway robbers are going to account for their eight years in government. That's what is going to happen. So, Kofi Bento should not come and tell us uh, uh, John Mahama was given a chance to do what? Baumia should be given a chance to do what? To do what? Continue a third term Kufuadu so that they can come and continue stealing what they've already been stealing or, or re-steal what they haven't stolen? What? Dr. Baumia should become president so that we, 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 we give Bank of Ghana another headquarters. Dr. Baumia should become uh, uh, president so that we can allow Keno Furiata and the Achim gang to finish stealing all the lands they haven't stolen in Accra already. We should allow uh, Dr. Baumia to become president so that Keno Furiata's company can still make, uh, 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 what do you call it, commissions of every loan that we co collect. Or Dr. Baumia should come to power, to power so that he can collateralize everything that has not been collateralized. Dr. Baumia should come to power so that he can keep heaping taxes on us, right? Even a petition, a petition, they have taxed a petition. So what's next? Emissions, they are taxing emissions. So excuse me to say, I know it's morning TV. Very soon, if you pass bad gas, you will be paying emissions tax. You are emitting something, am I lying? I mean, what, what is wrong with these people? People like Kofi Bento should be, should be ashamed of the role they played in getting this this these donkeys into power, and now that they are here and they are stealing from us, you come and tell us we should give Baumia another chance. Give Baumia a chance to do exactly what has Baumia not been in charge of the economy? 
If he's not been in charge of the economy, he should come and tell us. Because what we know is that he's the head of the economic management team. So if the head of the economic management team has brought us into a situation where people's patience has been expropriated, you are coming to tell us that we should give those people a chance to do what? What, is Kenofoyata going to continue as finance minister when uh, Dr. Baumia comes to power? What what kind of madness is that? I think he attempts to Look. respond to that question in his point C. Says yes, they failed, but know that president is living with his key people. I know that Dr. Baumia was sidelined. It is he who has the better chance of doing a better job now, who has been proven not corrupt and who has the better ideas for Ghana's digital future. Do you know? Do you know something? Do you know something? Mm. That makes it. That makes what he said it be more stupid if he has been silent why is he still there doesn't he know the, the word resignation or resignation is not but it's, it's not part of the uh, uh, economic lexicon if you have been silent and you are not unable to do your job i would have been the first person out of the blocks to vote for dr baumia if he had if he had resigned as vice president citing the fact that the team mafia have a, 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 a mafia deep, and that as vice president he cannot get a wedding address then he gives my respect you are sitting there sitting among these drawers impoverishing people people are stealing left right and center you sit among the criminals and the thieves the highway robbers the brigands and the buccaneers and then you come and tell us that no you are silent silent where what an idiot people are suffering as we speak today there are people whose pensions are in the ledge so they cannot even take medicines out of their own money they have went for to go and cure themselves. Right? I am talking to you as a victim of that. Money that I saved for my family for 25 years is all gone. And then you sit there and tell us I should give Baumia another chance. Are you mad or you are just pretending to be mad? Or it's because of what he stands to gain? All of them, after their mouths became full, they all kept quiet. Has anybody heard from his Ankuma? Have you have you people heard from his Ankuma? Hmm. When was the last time you heard from him? When was the last time he tweeted anything? I love Radio God. Those people, those characters. They are all sitting down, nobody is talking. People of Ghana are suffering. Look all the pastors. Where are they? Where are they? Where's the Catholic Bishops Conference? Where's Ben Saltabe? Where's Ben Saltabe? Tell, tell me, where's Ben Saltabe? After the, the, the managing director of his bank, right, was put in jail for stealing, right, he himself is walking around free when he himself should be answering questions as to how that bank went aground. But he has been spared, so he's quiet. We are in a country where almost 70,000 young people lost their, their jobs because of the banking crisis. And you are coming to tell us that we should bring, the, 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 we should bring uh, Dr. Baumia back, back to power. For what reason? For what reason? Whatever cheap weed they are smoking, they should make sure, well, I've even forgotten that they've, 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 they've legalized weed smoking anyway. So by now they are smoking it in industrial quantities. Because otherwise, I don't know why anybody will be telling me that I should vote for Baumia. Who's going to who's going to pay my pensions that are, that has been prescribed? Who's going to pay my pensions? Instead of finding the money that they have messed up back for us they are using it in procurement scams why do we need if dr baumia had any sense in his head why do we need to host all africa games when our economy is bankrupt that's proper stewardship of our money why do we need to build a new bank of ghana building for 250 million dollars uh, 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 when people have lost their pensions the way Dr. Addison has managed our, 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 our currency, shouldn't he be in a tent outside? Should he even be in a headquarters? Shouldn't his office be in a park somewhere for mosquitoes to chew him? 
what idiocy hmm. stupidity in its intensity look for you to tell us that we should vote for baumia so that you should come and impoverish us some more really really i wish him a rough road that's what he says about former president mahama he says uh okay he says the fact of his earlier record is etched in history and cannot be changed i choose to move forward i choose to never go backward especially to an option we all rejected ghana has enough people so we don't need to go back to old unsuccessful options we can try new and promising people i believe dr baumia is the new one we haven't tried and let me jump to his dr point. baumia stop right there dr baumia is not new we know his record we know what he said and what he has been doing in office let kofi bentil have absolutely not get it twisted dr baumia is the vice president of, of ghana he's not an ordinary road runner he said he was he's a, a second too. in command he was a driver's mate he's what a driver's mate really or your mate and you don't you see from or your mate in a second i say in a second in the light in a car and i'm on pc from both he and the driver died in the accident They should disappear. Listen, Kofi Bentel, what all that he's trying to do is to help Dr. Baumia come to power so that he can get uh, 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 something to steal. He too. That's all. They are all thieves and criminals. That's what he is. For you to come and tell us this nonsense at this time of our lives is just, is just, is just criminal. For you to open your mouth and say this nonsense. He should tell that to the people who have lost their pensions. In the history of our country, this is the first time a chief justice has gone and sat at the Ministry of um, uh, 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 Finance to ask for pensions. Right? When Justice Suf, Chief Justice, former Chief Justice Sufaye Kufu, took her chair and went to sit at the Ministry of Finance, that was profound. She was there when the whipper snappers in Papa Shippan, when they were, when they were talking a whole bunch of rubbish. Right? We live in a country where a president has even made a promise to God and field. Right? Kufadu, he's made a promise to God that you build him a cathedral. Where's the cathedral? There's a hole in the ground. When people make promises to God and they feel, you want us to give them another thing. Why? Haven't you heard Baumia? Prodding uh, 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 the 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 uh, National Cathedral, you want to use four hundred million dollars of our money to go and build that monstrous carbuncle in the middle of nowhere, and then you come and tell us that we should vote for Baumia. We will not vote for Baumia. Ghanaians will not vote for Baumia. They will lose. No amount of rigging, eh? No amount of anything will change anything. The, what Kofi Bentil should be talking about is the fact that the, the, the people in charge of the EC, eh, they are building monstrous hotels and monstrous mansions with the money they, they with, with, with the procurement breaches that they have they have made at the EC. We all know where those hotels and where all those buildings are. We all know. So they need to go so that they can answer for what they have done. And anybody should come and tell me that it's not true, I'll show them where it is. And they can de deny it. Look, Ghanaians are not ready to listen to people like Kofi Bentil. So if I were him, I would just shut up. If I were Kofi Bentil, I would just shut up. Stop writing nonsense. Stop talking nonsense. Stop in in imputing nonsense. Because it's absolute crap. For you to tell us that Dr. Baumia, as vice president of this country, was just a passenger. Who is a passenger? Not a driver. Not Jimmy S. Ifomwe. Who take care? Muna is a driver. No driver. Basa basa. I won't catch a driver and say park in a music box. Is that what happens? Sena, if you are in an Uber or a trotro or anything, the driver is driving haphazardly. Isn't it a responsibility on you as a passenger to force the driver to park the car so you can get out or push the driver out of the car? As we speak today, the MPs, and, and I want you people to call call Kofi Benton because I would like to be on the other end of the phone with him. The MPs, the MPP MPs, 
in parliament have demanded the resignation of Kofi Bento. Sorry, of of Doctor of of of, of Ken Oforata, Sorry, what has Doctor Baumia done about it? I love Radio God. Has Doctor Baumia gone to his president and told him, my friend, if you don't remove Ken Oforata, I'm resigning? Has he done it? You don't realize you are coming with your new man. What makes you think that Ken Oforata is not going to continue as the finance minister when 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 when, when, when they come back? We are in a country where a deputy minister of finance. Was caught on TV, on 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 video, collecting bribes. What has Doctor Bamiya done about it? What has Doctor Bamiya done about it? The Office of Special Prosecutor came back and told us, "Oh, he hasn't really done anything." Really? If it was me, when I was Frizo's board, uh, Frizo's uh, board executive secretary, who was seen collecting bribes on TV. What would the MPP have done when they were in opposition? What would they have said? There's not, there is there aren't laws against corruption in Ghana. Is question and teaching not on trial? Wasn't he also caught on tape collecting collecting bribes? Or is it because he was talking about the president's family? What question and teaching did and what Charles uh, 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 did was the difference. What's the difference? So why is that damn special special prosecutor coming to tell us that he has done nothing wrong? When the finance minister goes to do, collect bribes that are seen on TV, there's nothing wrong with it? Really? Somebody should tell Kofi, Kofi Bente that I, Kodjo Tumbafu, said whatever cheap weed is smoking, you should stop. This is response to you. And I think that he anticipates this kind of response and he says that it's, it's also baffling how some people degenerate into insults and attack me for simply making a choice. I am not I insulting am him. I am talking about tell Kofi Bentil that I am talking as somebody who has lost everything that I have saved for 25 years. So don't tell me that Dr. Baumia should come and continue. I'm not insulting anybody. I'm telling you that if you tell me that I should go and vote for Dr. Baumia, you are smoking cheap weed. That's what I'm telling you. And if you're a man worth your salt, come on the other line and let's debate this. Come and tell me I'm done. When people, the people who have lost their pensions and they are dying, are they, are they, are they, are they degenerating into insults? Do you know how many people have died because they've lost their pensions? If your father and your mother have perished because you couldn't pay for their medicine, you understand what I'm talking about. Come and tell me I should vote for Dr. Baumia. When Dr. Baumia was running around saying that if uh, 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 the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. After the exchange rate started exposing him, what did he say? What did he say? Let's put Dr. Baumia down and let's assess his lies and his deceit one after the other. Don't come and tell us that we should vote for me. I'm not saying if you're an MPP, but don't vote for MPP. The MPP, I am sure they have competent people in in uh, 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 in their in their ranks. We are talking about Dr. Baumia, Timothy. What are the the MPP people themselves? What are they saying about him? What did Kennedy the say about 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 Dr. Baumia? What did Kennedy the say? Let's go back. Forget about what Kodo Tumbo is saying. Me and my NDC man, go back. And read the things that Kennedy and Japan said during the, the presidential primaries, one after the other. Which of the things did Kennedy and Japan say that are not true? I mean, I'm degenerating into insults. So, oh, Papa, no, Mami, you are because you couldn't pay their hospital bills. And how be who you are making? So, oh, Papa, no, Mami, you are the fear. That's a wound to be trade room, Mama. You understand what I'm saying? degenerate into insults when you were insult when you people were insulting Don Mahama and his wife when you people were insulting Don Mahama Lodina Mahama Ibrahim Mahama when you were insulting every NDC person that worked did anybody speak the economy of Don Mahama in 2016 and the economy today which one is better in the history of our country, Kofi Bentil is a very intelligent man. He is a lawyer. 
he has he has a history at his fingertips he should tell us a time when Ghanaians were told to pay for the for the financial misdeeds of a finance minister and then the finance minister was still at post he should answer those questions I have all day for Kofi Bentley. If he likes, he should get on the other end of the phone and let's talk. Kofi Bentley, come and tell us the a time in our lives when a finance minister was getting commissions of the loans he was collecting on the people on behalf of the people of Ghana. At, his, at in his own words, he has made 150 million CDs off our our, our plight. His deputy also made close to 100 million. If in 2016, um, Sekepe and Atu Forsin were making those kinds of largesses of loans they were collecting on, on behalf of the people of Ghana, what would you have said at Imani? What would you have said? We are not stupid, my friend. We are not stupid. We know what you said. We know what you people did. We know what you people did. So what is going to happen is that you and your gang are going to go out of office and you are going to account for what you did. Just like we were made to account for what we, what, what we did or didn't do. Come and tell me that I'm insulting you. Finally. Oh, Papa. No, mommy. Oh, Papa. No, mommy. Let me repeat to Kofi Bentil and tell him I said this if he's not listening. I said, if your father and your mother are geriatrics and they are sick at this time and you cannot find money to buy medicine for them because Kenofoyat has cost you your pension. You understand what I'm talking about? If you had an 80-year-old mother and a 90-year-old father in the house and you cannot look after them because Kenofoyata has made you lose your pension, you will understand what I'm saying. Come and tell me that I've been sorting. When you when a Kufuado was calling uh, uh, John Mahama and his wife names, where were you? Where were you? And finally, he says he's entitled his, to his opinion. That that is his opinion. So am I. I am also entitled to mine. I'm also entitled to mine. And what I'm telling you is that Ghanaians will not vote for Dr. Baumia. Ghanaians, they won't vote for Dr. Baumia. And after he's out of office, he will be made to account for everything that has been stolen. So make sure you are not part of the people who are stolen anything. I see. Then you are entitled to opinion. As for me, I don't. I don't have an opinion <laughs> because my mouth is tied. Right, my brain is tied. Then, then... Some people are not smarter than anybody. Who. You are not smarter than anybody. But Ghanaians, it is it is very good that Ghanaians gave you people the right. And you, Kofi Bento, you are an MPP man. You are as MPP as they come. Eh? You are not neutral. You are neutral, absolutely nothing. You. You are an MPP. You are locked, stuck, and barreled with them. You are dying in the womb with them. Let's not get it twisted. So come out and be bold. Go a pair in between your legs and come out and say you are part of the MPP apparatus. Come out and say it. Be man enough to come out and say it. Be, be as bold as you were in 2016. Because your mouth is full, you people, your mouths are full and you are chewing with, with, with 64 pairs of dentition, you can't talk. You people will go out of power in 2024, uh, December, and by 8th January 2025, you will be accounting for what you have stolen. Mark it anywhere. Mr. Kojo thank you. Thank you, too. Mm. Uh, well, so we had on the line Mr. Kojo Chumbuafu. He's joining us. Uh, he is a former uh, executive secretary for the Ghana Free Zones, but at the time, he is an authority now. Uh, if you see their beautiful office, we'll